What's going on guys? It's Tony from Momo Paintball and today I am talking the Exalt EMF 100 Flared Magwell. And why is the best source for talking about stuff but not actually doing it? That is lonewolfpaintball.com and we are actually going to do it because I'm going to talk about it and then we're going to install it so you guys know how to do it. So um, EMF or if you have the older model, the MG100 by Planet Eclipse, you have these new Exalt Flared Magwells to make sure you guys are getting the fastest reload possible out there on the field. So instead of kind of fumbling around, figuring out, you know, where your, where your magazine's gonna go if you're not looking, it's a flared magwell that's gonna go around the outer edge here, which I'll show you here in just a second. So it's meant for quicker reloads. Price point on this, $29.95. All right, Mark, so uh, the flared magwell and the EMFs work with the CF20 mags, and they also work with the, uh, the DM mags as well. So. Uh, let's install this sucker. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's Is it hard? It Is it hard to do? No, it shouldn't be hard. Just make sure. Well, I'll set it down here. Pulled out the CF20 magazine. Um, there is a pin right here by your mag release. There's going to be a pin and one end is smooth and the one end has knurling on it. So make sure that you are punching the knurling end out. So you're going to want to hit it from the smooth end. And obviously you're not trying to run the knurling through the actual marker. So Put your punch, you're gonna need a punch and a hammer. You're gonna put your punch on the smooth end and push it out the other way. So we're gonna tap this uh, set screw out or pin as you wanna call it. So you're gonna need a punch and a hammer and this will not cause any, uh, there's no permanent modifications to your marker whatsoever. So you can take this off if you don't like it or just if people are worried about wrecking their nice new marker, no worries. It's just a simple punch and a hammer. And then for the actual magwell, when we put it on, it's going to be a 330 seconds Allen wrench. So without further ado, Mark, you got a good shot in this region? I think so. Okay, so I'm going to take my punch. Are you going to drive that pin through the table? Nope. I think it came out that easily. So pin, actually, let's push it all the way through. So this is the knurling I'm talking about. So if Mark's got a good shot of that, that is the edge you don't want to push through the gun. That is the edge that is coming out. So you want to take your punch and you're going to be hitting the smooth edge. And then this is going to be the edge that's coming out of the marker. So we're going to take that out. That was actually pretty, pretty darn easy there. And uh, we'll set that off to the side. Let's get into the goodies here. So you got the EMF slash MG100 Magwell. So it's going to be flared there for you. Uh, you've got a retainer screw on this side and then a long you got the long screw here. So this is where your 330 seconds is going to come into play. We're going to pull this right on out, slide it through, set that long screw off to the side and make sure you guys aren't losing this piece right here. That little nut that's going to be sitting inside. So I don't know how easy they fall out, but make sure you don't lose that. All right, let's, let's get this thing on upside down. Let me just make sure we've got this. First off, you want to be able to, if you're looking at your marker, you want to be able to read the Exalt logo. So we're going to go this route. Flip her upside down. Should should lock into these grooves pretty pretty easily there. So looks like, yeah, there's grooves around the actual outer uh, mag here. Let me just make sure we got it all set and locked in. So now you can hear, actually hear it click into place. It's going to lock into the grooves around the outer edge. And then we're going to simply take your long set screw. Like I said, make sure that nut is not lost. And then we're going to take the set screw and run it right on through. And this is where your 330 seconds is going to come into play. Do, 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 do. You'll have to trust that he's doing it, guys, because all we see is your back of your hand. Yeah, and you say you got to get a hold of that bad boy here to get her all screwed into place. Keep her nice and tight in there, and that should be... And what's the benefit of this attachment? So pretty much, okay, now I'm making sure that piece was properly put in there. So nice mag release. So pretty much when you're out there on the field and you're looking to reload your magazine, they're doing this for quicker reload time. So you're not fumbling. This is a flared magwell right here. So as soon as you get it even in the realm, this thing is going to slide right on in for you. So you're not fighting to find the exact position to get your magazine back in. So simple. You're out there. You obviously got opponents locked in. You want to keep, you want to keep it moving. You don't really have to look very much simply clicks in and guides you right into place. That's the whole convenience factor of the new flared magwell by Exalt. So if you guys own an EMF 100, you guys own an MG 100, pick one up the flared magwells, like I said earlier in the video, retail $29.95, uh, super uh, you know, simple installation for your marker, no permanent damage done whatsoever. If you ever wanna switch back, if you don't like it, you can do that easily. 
and uh, check them out. They're available now at slowmopaintball.com.